You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Is it is on? <laughs> yeah. Hey folks, I'm John P, and welcome back to our continuing coverage of CES Live. Uh, we have the lovely and talented Georgia here with us, co-hosting. Hi, everyone. Yes, they haven't thrown me off yet. The hook hasn't come in. No, it's not going to happen. Yet. Thanks for thanks for co-hosting with me. Thank you so much for having me. It's so much fun. Oh, it's it's our pleasure. It's all our pleasure, all on this side. And also, we've got a couple of other special guests. We've got Zuzette, and we've got Hung yes. from iBot. Yes. How's everybody? How doing? are you guys doing? Excellent. Thank you. We uh, we've got all kinds of gadgets and goodies laying out here, and uh, we're anxious to hear about them. So tell us first before we talk about gadgets, what's up with iBot? Tell us about iBot. <laughs> iBot is a basically a control system for <clears throat> doing everything controlled through the cloud. Now you want to make your life easier by having um, smart controls that are already automatically set up for that, so that you don't have to. Automatic. Let's say, for example, you come home, you know, your lights um, need to be turned on, you come home at late, and then your house is cold, so you definitely want to have that heater ready for That's you right. before you actually come home. So the iBot system actually emphasizing, you know, making it your life easier and simpler and smarter for you as well. Okay, so tell me about, uh, you know, I, A, I want all those things. I want, I, my, I want my house to do whatever I want without me even having to work at it. I, I want it to right. know when I'm coming home, Gets the coffee right. ready, changes the temperature, lights are ready. Right. Can it walk the dog? Walk. <laughs> oh, bring the beer. That's, uh, <laughs> that's something we're working on with the R&D department, walk on the okay, dog. Okay. And taking care of babies. Oh, yeah, good, <laughs> good. That would be good. If we can just pop those out of the womb and let the robots <laughs> take care of them, that would be awesome. That's the, the, Not that, quite there yet, right? Not there yet. Okay. Not there yet. But that's definitely something in the future. Okay, good. So when you talk about doing those kind of control, those kind of, kind of controls, how do, we, how do we get the house integrated to the so, point where we um, do that? Each device needs to be hooked up into our... Um, so you've got some little cubes here. Yeah. Okay. And we, we, we're making these, these are called bees. And bees. These, and Which these are, are called hives. Okay. So, so Smart. The way it works is the bees communicate with the hives. To the bot, to the hive. Yeah, and then the, 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 actually the bot is the... We actually call them bots. So the way it yeah. works is it's through the cloud, and uh, this is actually connected to the Wi-Fi that helps you know, making the control. And uh, the way it communicates is that um, once you get home, it has Bluetooth hooked up to your phone, and it automatically picks up that you're home, and it starts doing the configuration that you set it up as. So let me get this straight. The, the Hive is kind of the controller. Which is this. OK, it, yes. it's connected. It's the internet. The, okay. the application on iCloud, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, is it a, does it have a web-based interface or it's an app-driven interface that we set up these rules or so these, has it? Right. We have a house in-house built app that uh, you download once you buy these uh, devices from us. And uh, once you log in, you'll be accessing to the cloud system. Okay. To monitor. So we put the we put the hive on our Wi-Fi network in the house, Correct. and then what? Like leave it sitting beside our router or something like that, or no, just it's, anywhere? No, it can be sitting anywhere near it. Okay, just uh, as long as it stays connected to the Wi-Fi in the house, we're correct. good. Right. Okay. So, so the, yeah, correction. So the iBot system is you know it contains the bees, and this is what we call the bot, and this is the hive. Oh, this is the hive. Okay. This is the hive, I'm which sorry. is your your the the, control, the application. The application. Correct. So the bees act as sensors or, you know, um, sensors. Like this one's temperature. This is a temperature sensor, which sends a transmission, the information to the bot, which is a commander, then onto the application here, which is the hive. OK, yes. I got you. Through Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, uh, and so forth. So how does this one here, which is the bee, connect to, say, the temperatures? So would I have to buy a special <laughs> The mom's we have thermostat, this, uh, or is it already inside that it takes actually, the temperature no. of the house? Um, we have this another box that has these wires hooked up to it. So once you hook that up to your th thermometer in your house, um, not of course not all thermometers in the house are wireless. Even if it's wireless, it's set towards that manufacturer. So this one, we, we what we do is we work with 
the thermometer to actually control that because you know without it you can't do it. So, okay, so, and that so, would be wirelessly connected to the So thermometer. yeah, so this box would sit next to it mm -hmm. and you can just receives information and then sends it to the, uh, the bot. Okay, so um, we might have, let's say, a train a air, condi air conditioner or heater system or something, and you would have one of these that was branded uh, or that would specifically interface with that, with that type of unit? Correct. Yes. Okay, and then that way um, it's, it's all configured to control it and everything else. So then it will send the data in uh, to, uh, through the hub to the, right. to the hive, and we will say, okay, I really want the temperature to be at 68 degrees. Mm -hmm. You just operate it there, right. and then it comes back out, and it controls that thermostat. You right. got it. Okay, cool. So what other kinds of controls? Because I know you said this a minute ago, but my brain so is catching up. Yeah, okay. these, these are made of sensors inside. Okay. We actually have hundreds of different types of sensors. Oh, wow. Um, Right now, you can actually get uh, humidity, uh, humid sensors. Really? Or, let's say, you know, if you have a, um, a food company, you're delivering food, you constantly want to make sure that the food temperature is at an you know, accurate A position. safe temperature, right? Exactly, safe within that zone. And um, a delivery can take some time, you know, it's just you're sitting in traffic and you're worried about that food being um, poisoned or a lot of bacteria growing. Yeah. You want it to monitor that. So basically, um, helps you monitor without having to put the thermometer in there. You can actually have this device in the car while you're just looking at it. So do we customize the application? I mean, because it sounds like there's hundreds of different sensors. Right. We could have that application be very highly customized to our particular yes. environment. Exactly. It, has, it needs yeah. to be customized towards that specific area you're looking with. Not, you know, not all temperature can be for food. It could be, you know, just, you know, let's say if you have a house and you have a fish tank uh -huh. and, um, a saltwater fish is very sensitive to mm -hmm. heat, right. and so you have to be controlling that. You want to know how how much temperature or how much what the degree is in that room is, so that way you can crank up your um, air conditioning, mm -hmm. right? Or else your fish is going to die. Yeah, right? you might have a heater in the tank, and yeah. you might want to monitor your water temperature in the tank. Can yeah. you can you monitor temperature of liquids as well, or just air temperature? You um, have a right now, Ziploc bag. Yeah. Yeah, I put it yeah. in a Ziploc. <laughs> yeah, anything that can be monitored or censored, like all the things in your life that you want to monitor and censor can be seen through the internet. So you can monitor your dog at home, your pets. You can have a motion detector, you can see who's passing by your house in your backyard. You, can, you have an identity sensor to see who's in your house. Or you have a, a, a fire, a, you know, fire sensor to see if there's a, that will indicate there's a fire in your home. Yeah, so anything that can be censored or monitored, even cameras, you can have, we can place a camera in here. If someone hits, your, this can also be in your car, if someone hits your car and bangs it, it will capture a picture and then send that information through here. Yes. Wow. And would, that's like a, with the, through GSM. Would yeah. I need to buy Art. different bees for yes. different things? So I would order, say, a set of like, I want these six things, and then I would get six separate bees. Correct. Right. And so the, uh, we can actually pre-order that right now. And um, it's not released out to the public yet. We are expecting to release it around April, around Easter time. Nice, okay. What, where do people, by the way, where are people going to order these if they want to buy some? They're going to go to the ibotscontrol.com. ibotscontrol.com. Yes, you can pre-order there and we also launch in April. Oh, okay. I do have one little question about the physical design. I see these little notches on the outside, there's like, I guess it's a little power adapter, but then there's like three, are these just little micro USBs or what What kind of connectors are those? That's a micro USB and it's actually to um, charge. Some people have okay. interest in like, let's say, you know, if I leave this on top of the house or yep. leave it on top of high, I don't want to have to take it down to recharge the battery. You can actually have this plugged in directly and just have it powered at all times. You, you say on top of the house, so some of them are waterproof? No, I'm not like on top of the house, but like, I'm talking about like high area. Oh, sorry, okay. Area. Yeah. <laughs> I was just wondering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could, it's waterproof for about one second. <laughs> <laughs> we actually cool. have one that's, uh, uh, that monitors humidity and uh, moisture. Some people, it, 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 we have anything that can do, all the sensors out there that they have developed so far, we can actually input that in there and, and have that monitor as well. Cool. Okay, well, if you guys are interested, go check it out at ibotcontrols.com. 
And uh, look at that. They're uh, p pimping They're the price ready. into the pre-order area there in the way. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. That's the pre-order, $1.99. Excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for uh, checking out all our CES coverage. Stick around. We've got even more coming out soon, and we'll be right back after this. Thank you. <laughs>